Vestibular balance assessment. Slow spin. Slowly spin in a swivel chair with the eyes closed to the right or clockwise direction. Test a strong indicator muscle, in this case the deltoid on the right. If it weakens, it indicates an underactive right vestibular mechanism. Then spin to the left or anti-clockwise. and test the left deltoid muscle. Push up. If weakens, indicates an underactive left vestibular mechanism. Fast spin. Fast spin in a swivel chair with the eyes open to the right or clockwise ten times. and test a strong indicator muscle on the right, push up, and then we're going to fast spin to the left, or counterclockwise, eyes open, and then test the left deltoid, push up. If weakens, indicates an underactive left vestibular mechanism. Vestibular ocular reflex. The patient fixes the focus of the practitioner's index finger about 18 inches away. Patient slowly turns the head to the right as far as they can, still focusing on the finger, and repeat 10 times. Test a strong indicator muscle in this case on the right side, push, I am to the side, so you're going to look at my finger, right. repeat ten times to the left, so turn the head to the left, back, looking at my finger all the time. Two more. Push up. Okay. Auditory assessment using a tuning fork. Strike a tuning fork and feel the vibration in the fingers. Place three inches away from the right ear and take note how many seconds after the vibration stops that the patient stops hearing the sound in the right ear. and repeat on the left ear. The shorter hearing side is usually opposite the side of hemisphere weakness. Auditory assessment, dichotic listening. Patient's eyes closed, doctor rubs index fingers and thumb together with both hands. Bring rubbing fingers slowly towards the patient's ears. Note the side of less hearing. Usually this indicates the side opposite the hemisphere weakness. Visual assessment pupillary reflex. Shine the pen torch slowly into the pupil of one eye. Note the ability to constrict and hold the constriction. So here we're doing the right eye. After the test, we're going to use the right deltoid to test the pupillary constriction on the right side. Now we're going to repeat on the left side. And we're going to test the left deltoid for the left pupil.
Visual assessment slow tracking. Practitioner places the index finger in the left field of vision. Slowly move it to the extreme right, taking six seconds. And test the left deltoid. Push. Repeat on the opposite field of vision, so from the right here, across to the left, taking six seconds. And test the right deltoid. Hemisphere weakness is on the same side as the positive weakening direction. In this case, from right to left. Visual assessment convergence test. Patient focuses on the index finger of the practitioner about 18 inches away. That practitioner brings slowly the index finger in till one eye deviates. Proprioceptive assessment. Romberg test number one. Patient standing with the eyes open. Ask to bring the ankles together to touch. Observe for a sway to one side. If none, close the eyes. So close your eyes. Keep the eyes closed. The hemisphere weakness is on the opposite side to the sway. Proprioceptive assessment, Romberg test two, otherwise known as the man's test. Patient standing with the eyes open. Ask to bring one foot in front of the other. Observe for any sway. If none, get the patient to close their eyes. A sway to one side indicates a hemisphere weakness on the opposite side. Repeat using the other leg forward. So put the other leg forward this time, Rach. Come in front of the other and close the eyes. Look for the sway. Remember, a sway to one side indicates a hemisphere weakness on the opposite side. Proprioceptive assessment, Romberg test number three. Patient standing, eyes open. Ask to lift one leg and bend at the knee. Should be able to stand in this position for 30 seconds. Repeat on the other leg. Excellent. Okay, put the feet down together. Now repeat with the eyes closed. So eyes closed, stand on one leg. A sway to one side usually indicates a hemisphere weakness on the opposite side. Good, and then repeat on the other side. So other leg, eyes closed. Core stability number one, arms to the side, knees bent, Bend the knees, lift the buttocks off the table, and Rach is going to stay there for 30 seconds. Core stability number two. Arms folded, bend the knees up, lift the buttocks off the table. Rach is going to stay there for 60 seconds. Core stability number three, arms to the side, bend your knees, lift your buttocks off the table and stick one leg up there, that's good, and stay for 60 seconds. And now we're going to repeat on the other side, bend the knees up, buttocks off the table, left leg up, and Rachel's going to stay there for 60 seconds.